Time to play with some play. All right, I'm uh, working on my clay today. Let me get my camera adjusted. I got another swing arm lamp uh, arm for my other GoPro. Um, so now I got two, and I've got another one coming in for my other light. Right now, I still only got one light with a swing arm. And I had to make a decision to cut the wire off of uh, the new one because I wanted to mount my uh my gopro hero on a swing arm lamp and it works just fine uh it took me a while to get it figured out to to strengthen up the uh, mount over here because pulling on the uh, swing arm lamp really puts a lot of strain on the wood that i've got it mounted on and i had to strengthen that and then i had to uh figure out which mounts to put on uh each of the cameras and my other GoPro, the GoPro 8, Hero 8, uh, has a helmet cam uh, mount that I've put a screw into the wood to make it so I can turn it this way and that way. Let's see if I can, okay, yeah. So I can turn it this way and that way uh, so I can get it at different angles and adjust the angle for the camera. And I've got the... Uh, mount that I could do the same thing on uh, the, the Hero 5. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and work on the uh, horse's feet. I, I've got one hoof that's uh, smaller than the others, and I've got to uh, make it uh, proportional to the other ones. So let's get started. And I'll get the camera off me. The uh, clamp that I ordered off of uh, Amazon for my uh, swing arm lamps is this uh, metal adjustable arm clamp. I found this to be absolutely perfect. Uh, it has a screw in it to, to lock in the uh, position of your swing arm so that it doesn't go drifting off to one side like they sometimes do, especially if you haven't got it exactly level on your table. So that's the uh, product number and uh, the name of it that you can get on Amazon. All right. Now, this is the GoPro 5 that I'm pointing to. <laughs> and this is the GoPro 8 that I'm record, uh, recording on. And I just wanted to show you that uh, now I'm able to get almost right in on my sculptures, which is going to really help you to see what I'm doing. And I noticed this the other day and I just haven't had a chance to work on it because uh, yesterday I was uh, over uh, looking at the new gallery that's getting ready to open up here in Ennis and uh, the gentleman that uh, is getting ready to open it has got a great place that he's opening up in and I'm telling you he's uh, putting a lot of effort in making this a top-notch gallery and I was really happy to see what I saw and she they got some great young ladies uh, working in there uh, to be salespeople right now they're basically doing construction he's still trying to get uh, the uh, gallery uh, finished up and uh, let's see if that matches yeah uh, they're constructing it right now and uh re re uh re um building parts of it uh it was a antler design place in other words it, uh, there's a local company here in ennis that uh buys antlers off of uh, hunters who find them lying on the ground because you know in the in the uh fall or at a certain season uh, and uh, elk drop their antlers and deer and uh, they pay them by the pound you can make quite a bit of money uh, if you go up 
and you're healthy and able to wander the hills, uh, you can make quite a bit of money off of uh, antlers. Okay, I got the uh, hoof exactly. Now just make sure I got the width. It's really windy outside because it got really warm uh, yesterday, and it's warm today. It's uh, up in the 50s, which is unusual for this time of year. I'm going to put more of an angle on the back hoof over here, and I'm going to rework the hair on the uh, fetlocks a little bit. The nice thing about having two cameras in close, my arm is not going to be, well, it'll still probably cover up what I'm working on sometimes, but uh, most of the time it'll keep me uh, in full view, which is a, you know, it's like having a guy or somebody with a uh, camera standing over me and zeroing in on the areas that uh, I'm working on. I figured that $23 or whatever it was for the uh, swing arm lamp was worth it for a mount for my GoPros because, quite honestly, you'd spend a lot more than $23 bucks for a good mount uh, as good as these and uh, where they could, uh, you could position your camera. And I don't think you could, could position it as well as this setup goes and I got the lighting uh, perfectly matched I think for both cameras uh, so one camera is not washed out and the other camera uh, is uh, correctly set it uh, took some experimenting and looking at YouTube videos where you got some great people on there showing you how to use uh, a GoPro 5 and a GoPro 8 and how to set up your videos and uh, I would suggest if you got questions about how to do that to go on YouTube and check them out okay this one I'm gonna cut down the hair just a little bit Again, the reason I'm putting hairy fetlocks on it, which is something that happened. Horses uh, in the Old West uh, were raggedy, especially Indian horses, ponies. And uh, one reason is because I got this armature that comes out right behind the hoof. And uh, it's uh, in the way, and I needed to uh, hide it. And the only way I could do that is by putting some long fetlock hair, which is not unnatural for a, a wild Mustang. And uh, this young warrior wouldn't have had as uh, good a horse as uh, some more experienced warrior because he hasn't had time to capture any on raids and stuff like that. And... Uh, when he does, then you'll have a uh, horse that's a little better looking and confirmation and everything else. So that'll be it for today, and I'll pick this ne up next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time